Hello Shida, welcome back to the podcast Forex. We'll be giving you our weekly Forex forecast. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button to get our weekly Forex updates. This is Euro USD. For Euro USD, this past week, we focused at a drop here. We said that we're expecting a drop here. We also highlighted in our forecast that right around this area, there's a chance that we might be getting one more up. Then after we get that one more up, we might be getting that drop from right around this area. This is what we talked about. We say that right around this area, there's a movement down that's expected. So as you can see, this is the impulse that we're expecting. We got a drop this past week, just as you can see, all the way breaking this previous lows, just as we had highlighted. So right around this area, there's two things that can happen. From here, we can have a bigger corrective structure like this, then more down, or we can have a reversal here. So just be on the lookout for that. If you were able to catch a sell, if you're privileged enough to catch a sell here, you can um, uh, close uh, your setup with the profits that you are able to harvest or you can uh, just make sure that your stop loss is in profits and then you can wait for this corrective structure and then expect more down here but if during the week you notice any uh, structures or any any reversals you can close here and then uh, take your profits and then look for another pair to trade that's on euro usd there's a down move that we're expecting and that's exactly what we got let's move on to the next pair on this chart we have nzdjpy for nzdjpy right around this area we focused at a down move there's a down move that we focused at. we said we're expecting price uh, to move like this all the way down then this past week we made an update we say that we're expecting corrective structure here then continuation down that is what we talked about on our previous forecast so for nzdjpy here you can see that uh, this price has gone to our our forecasted level here so right around this area we can start having a corrective structure here then more down or we can get an impulse move here and then we can get something like this this might mean something different this might mean that um we're gonna get something like this a bigger quarter structure all the way uh, up to around this area then we can be assessing price on what's next but as of now if you're able to catch this if you're uh, you're able to catch this you can you just lose your setup for now with profits or you can just make sure that your stop loss is on break even then you keep holding all the way down if we can get this down move then you're able to um, harvest more pips but if you get a reversal then you're able to be taken out with those profits that you've already made that's on nzd jpy this is what we're expecting on our previous focus and that's exactly what we got this is USDCHF. For USDCHF, we've been focusing this movement up like this. This is a movement that we focused this past week. And as you can see, we've got a sharp movement, sharp impulse like this, all the way up to around this area, just as we had expected. So this next week, uh, be careful here because uh, from here, we might be getting uh, either a drop here like this, a drop, or because this this what we got here is, is very sharp is a sharp impulse there's a possibility we might just be getting a corrective structure like this then continuation up up to around this area then from here this is where we might get a possibility to be getting this drop here keep that in mind there's a drop that's expected we can either have it from here or we can either have it from here that is what we are focusing on usd chf this is usd jpy now for usd jpy this past weeks we say that we expected this corrective structure complete and then we say that we'll be getting another drop here that is what we focused and as you can see we had already gotten this corrective structure and prior to that we had focused this down move here and then we see that after this down move this is what we'll be getting this corrective structure also prior to this down move we had already focused a bigger corrective structure after this we see that after this big wave we're expecting this corrective structure so this is a uh, price that we've been focusing step by step on usdjp so right now we're expecting to get something like this before moving up that is what we're expecting if we don't get this if we don't get a structure that shows that we're going to be getting a drop here if we don't get any drop here this is a movement that we will not be interested in right around this area the only setup that we're interested in is a drop because our structure is showing us that there's an expected drop here if we find price moving like this this is a setup that we would ignore because it's not part of our structure we're only focusing on setups that are part of our structure that's on usd jpy this is cd jpy and 
Now, this is a movement that we focused. We focused at this drop here. We said that we're expecting a drop all the way down, and this drop is expected to break this previous low. That's the focus that we made, and as you can see, we've already started to get this initial impulse. So, this next week, if you're not already on this, you can be looking forward for a corrective structure like this. Then, uh, look for a sell opportunity down. That's a movement that we are expecting on CDJPY. And if you're able to catch it this next week, that would be great because we're expecting this drop structure is showing that there's an expected drop here. That is on CADJPY. More down is expected this next week. Keep in mind that there's a possibility that we might get this a movement like this sharp up, then quarter structure, then up like this. So this also uh this also would not be a surprise so just know that there's a possibility it can take place but uh, if we can get that option moving like this then up like this this might mean something different but we'll be assessing this on a weekly basis to show you uh, what's next but as of now this is the highest uh, chance this is the route with the highest probability so this is what we're expecting for now forget about this but if it happens know that we'll be updating you on what the structure means in the next week this is nzdchf now for nzdchf like we focused at this past week we said that we're expecting an up move here like this that is what we're still expecting we're still expecting this up move here because our structure is showing us that there's this expected movement up so if you're looking forward to getting an, an entry here um, just know that the, it can happen any time from now we can have the, an impulse move like this then correctively then up like this something like this we can have price move like this this we're expecting this next week so also from here if we don't get price moving like this just as we're focused at now uh, expect price to move like this like this correctively up and if now we get price moving like this this uh, might, might 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 not cost price to get all the way up to this area here that's on nzdchf we're expecting a movement up we're expecting a movement up if we get this movement up it's gonna head up to around this area as an impulse but if we get um, a corrective structure up we might have this movement up to around this area the highest here that's on nzdchf that's a movement on nzdchf this this is AUD JPY and a few weeks back we had price right around this area and then we say that we're expecting this corrective structure to complete then we can get this drop all the way down here we say that there's a structure that was expected and as you can see we got this drop here and then price started to be moving sideways so this past week we made an update we say that we're still expecting a drop here we're still expecting a drop here now as you can see this is a drop that we we were focusing here you can see that it's exactly now uh, as we were focusing right around this area that's on aud jpy if you are privileged to be able to catch this cell uh, as we focus at it um, make sure to exit here make sure to find your exit right now uh, this structure has completed its movement we can be giving you updates on what's next in this next week so uh, for now you can focus on other pairs this is euro nzd now for euro nzd focusing this structure here um we are expecting a drop here we're expecting a drop here if price decides to move up like this impulsively if price decides to move up like this impulsively this uh, opinion on this last drop might change because if we get this we might be able to get something like this then price might move like this all the way up so there's a chance that we might get this drop here then after this drop there's one we can follow this route so just keep that in mind on euro nzt if we are able to get this and we're able to catch a, a buy opportunity from right around this area this is a, a route we'll be going with but if we get this drop here if we get signs of this drop we'll just wait for this drop to complete then after that we'll be able to catch this buy all the way up that's on euro nzd and that that is what we're expecting if we catch this buy we'll be able to trade it all the way up but we'll be waiting for our entry opportunity because we'll not jump in to this pay we'll only wait for our entry condition and if our entry conditions are satisfied we can be looking forward for a buy movement this is gbp usd now for GBPUSD for the past 
week we focus on that we're expecting structure to give one last up here then we can start getting a drop now as you can see right from this area this was an early drop here and because we had we got an we've gotten an early drop here this is what's expected we can get a quarter structure like this this next week and then price may continue down all the way down breaking this previous low breaking this previous low so that is what we're expecting on gbp usd this can come in a form of an impulse up like this then we can get a corrective structure like this then impulse up then a corrective structure then impulse up then drop like this it can go deeper as you can see as highlighted here or we can get just a sharp up movement like this then a drop here like this so that is what's expected we're expecting more down on gbp usd if you've been looking forward to trading this pair if you've been looking forward to trading gbp usd you can be looking for entry after we get a correction here then you trade it down now that is what we're expecting on gbp usd this is euro cad now just as highlighted this past weeks we focused at a down and an up here then we got it down then we focused at an up here like this so this up move is expected to break this previous high like this it's also expected to slightly break this previous high so we might get price to move to around this area maximum then from here we can be getting a drop here like this we can be getting a drop here like this that is what you should be looking for on euro cad this is NZDCD. Now for NZDCD, right around this area, we're expecting a, a reversal here. We're expecting a reversal here, but price is still around that area. You can see that there's a stop loss hand. There's a stop loss hand. So even after this, it might still mean that we can be getting this up move here like this. So this is what we're still expecting. Our bias has not changed. So this price here, you can see we're expecting this up move here to break this previous high. That is what we're expecting. Even if we can get another a sharp move up like this uh, another sharp move down like this then up we would still be expecting this up move because we are not focusing this based on what is happening here we are focusing this based on the overall structure the other overall structure that is what we're expecting and we're still expecting this up move here when we focused we don't focus based on just a single bar like this no we are focusing based on the overall structure so if we get a pin bar or whatever or an impulse move down a stop a stop hunt or just anything here it is not our main focus our main focus is the overall structure like this because if you focus on just one single bar that bar would deceive you so we just focus on the overall structure and the overall structure right now is telling us that there's an expected up move like this so that is what we are expecting on nzd c80 this is euro aud now for euro aud this past week if you've been fully focused we focused at this up move to move all the way up to this area and then we see that from here we'll be catching down move now as you can see we moved up then we moved just small down then we moved all the way up breaking this previous high like this all the way up to around this area so uh based on this current structure uh two things can happen here we can get a down move a big down move all the way down like this to around this area to around this area it's possible and then another op another option is we can get a corrective structure like this and then we can give a bigger up move like this this up move would be similar to this movement here like this be similar to this breaking this previous high that is an option on euro aud this is euro gbp and for euro gbp nothing has changed just as we're focused that we're expecting one last drop then up now uh, we, we got something similar to what we had expected we expected this drop and then we're expecting an up move now we can have this up move here breaking this previous highs breaking this previous highs like this just as expected on euro gbp and if we get that this next week we'll be looking forward for our entry to buy if you get your confirmation your entry confirmation here you can be looking forward to buying this movement on euro gbp that's our expectation there on gbp chf nothing has changed just as you saw us focus on this previous weeks i uh, saying that we're expecting this drop and then we got this small drop then up so this is a drop that we're still expecting nothing has changed structure is still intact so after we get this drop we are focusing an up move here like this that is what we have on gbp chf this is AUDNZD. now for AUDNZD, we focus at this big wave up and then we got this up move like this up to around this area so this past week we said we're expecting a quarter structure like this all the way down to 
um, so that we can get this continuation up and as you can see we're starting to move like this so there's a possibility we might get this drop here like this and then maybe get something like this and down so then up that is what we're expecting on AUD NZD. so if you're not able to trade this if you're not able to get this entry on this buy move relax because there's an expected correction to complete then you can be catching this buy on AUD NZD. this is GBP JPY now for GBP JPY remember this past week we focused at just a small corrective structure here then we said we we're expecting one more up then after this up we said that we'll be catching uh, a down move now as you can see we have a pretty much sure down move here because we're expecting just a, a small correction then up then down so right now as you can see there's an expected uh, wave down there's an expected wave down and from here we can either get a corrective structure here then down remember this wave down is it's not a wave down that's new we were expecting from here like this now price has just been playing around price has just been playing around and manipulate making some manipulations here because this is a down move that's expected and it's big and you know that when a big down move or up move is expected there's a lot of manipulation so this price has just been moving like this to confuse many traders but this next week we can get a corrective structure here like this and then we can get this down move here on gbp jpy we're expecting a down move from here even if we get this up move like this even if we get this up move like this we can be assessing structure and then uh, we can still look for that down move down like this that's what we're expecting on gbp jpy we're expecting only down move we are not expecting any any buy we're not taking any buy if price decides to move up like this we will not be taking any buy we will not be taking any buy we'll just be looking forward to ourselves we're looking forward to only taking ourselves